the front door. Wait, hey, I see something over here that reminds me of you now. What? Guys, so you might be wondering why do flowers remind me of my girlfriend? They're probably thinking, oh, they remind you of her because you always get her flowers. Well, yeah, I mean, that is true. I do get you a lot of flowers. You always get me flowers, always. I haven't had a month where I've never gotten flowers. Sometimes it's like twice a month I get flowers. I know, I know, best boyfriend award, but so the reason flowers remind me of Jasmine are not because I always get her flowers, but because me and Jasmine, ever since we started dating, she told me something interesting about guys, about a male. Tell them what you would but always- I told them this one fact, I saw this on TikTok, that guys usually get their first arrangement of flowers at their funeral, so like they won't even like see it. So I didn't want that to ever happen to you, so I got you. Well, let me, let me get into it. There's, uh, there's more to the story. Okay. So ever since she told me that, it kind of hit me. I was like, damn, wait, I never thought about it that way. Damn, that's crazy. A guy won't get his first set of flowers till he's six feet underground. Me and Jasmine always talk, like, we always bring it up. Like, whenever I bring her flowers, I'm like, babe, this is for you. You know, I don't get mine till I pass away. It's like, it's like an inside joke, whatever. So then the other day, I was helping FaZe Rug with a video. I was filming with him and Jasmine was at my house. And then I came back home and she was standing there at the door with flowers for me. Mm -hmm. She surprised me with flowers. So they say a man's first time getting flowers is when? When he dies. But we're changing the stigma right now. Thank you, babe. Love you. Love you. Then I'm like, damn, babe. I've never been surprised with flowers before, so uh, I appreciated it a lot. She got me some gummy bears too, but the flowers meant something because- They care about you. It's like, why do girls get flowers and guys don't? She didn't want my first set of flowers to be when it was too late. Yeah, yeah, I so. don't want to talk about that. That's okay. sad. <laughs> so then now, every time I see flowers, it'll always remind me of the time that you surprised me with flowers for the first time, so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Babe, the flowers that Jasmine got me. Because I wanted to do something nice for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm a guy and I got flowers before my funeral. Wait. Woo! Yo guys, so Jasmine's at school right now. We got a special guest behind the camera. Say what up, Dennis. What up, Dennis? No. All right, guys, so here are the flowers that Jasmine surprised me with. They're actually dope. I really like them. On top of the flowers that she got me, she also surprised me with some brand new Air Forces. Look at these. For those of you who know me, you guys know Air Forces are my favorite shoes. I wear Forces every single day. Every day. I wear them with anything, no matter what. So Jasmine surprised me with a new pair, probably because you guys always make fun of me for the pair that I had was all creased and beat up, and I still be wearing them every single day. So uh, shout out to my girl, because the sneakerheads were really coming after me for wearing these ones and guys these flowers actually mean a lot to me these flowers are extra special to me because i've never been surprised with flowers in my life you know what i'm gonna take a flower out from these flowers that jasmine surprised me with and i'm gonna keep this flower forever just to always remember the first time i was ever surprised with flowers shout out to jasmine babe i really appreciate these gifts and actually for those of you who don't know my girlfriend jasmine recently started school she's going to school to be a dental assistant it's actually her first week well today's only her second day in school so since jasmine got me these gifts i feel like returning the favor and doing something nice for her so while she's at school today i'm gonna get her a little i'm proud of you gift i want to do something nice for her just to show her how proud i am of her that she's going to school just to show her how proud I am of her starting this new journey in her life. So it's time to hit the stores and go get my girlfriend a little surprise before I see her when she gets out of school later today. Right, so everybody knows anytime you're surprising a girl with a gift, you got to start with some flowers. I think these are really nice. Look at these. They're big. They stand out. They're beautiful. How's the smell though? They smell good. So if you take a look around, we got all these little flower options and they're all pretty cute, they're cool. But if you know me, you know I'm a believer in go big or go home. So we're gonna go big and get Jasmine the biggest set of flowers we could find, which is this one. And uh, what else? Oh, look, perfect. There's a Starbucks right there. If any of you guys know Jasmine, you guys know that girl loves her coffee. No, 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 she doesn't just love her coffee. She's obsessed with Starbucks coffee. So I think a little gift card would mean a lot to her. Hey, I can help you. Uh, can I just do a gift card? Gift card? Yeah. How much on it? A hundred. Like I said, she loves her coffee. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're over here by the greeting cards. And I think a little good luck card would go a long way for Jasmine. Since she did start school, she is in a fast-paced program. I'd assume it's pretty tough and a lot of work. So we're gonna go with one from the good luck section. So I think getting her a little card like this is my way of wishing her luck in her new school journey. Guys, behind my back. 
I just found the perfect gift for Jasmine, bro. So you guys saw the flowers that I bought, the Starbucks gift card. Those are more general gifts. Like any boyfriend could surprise his girlfriend with flowers and a gift card. Those are just, those are basic. But I just found something that's a little more personal for me and Jasmine. Look at this. I found this heart shaped photo frame. I'm gonna get this over here and I'm gonna fill it all up with Polaroids of me and Jasmine. So Jasmine likes to buy Polaroid cameras whenever we hang out and we take a bunch of pictures together. So my job is to fill this up with pictures of me and Jasmine. Jasmine is gonna love this. If you guys know Jasmine, then you know she's not big into designer things. She's not a very materialistic girl. She likes gifts like this. She's more of a sentimental person. So I feel like a gift like this would be perfect for me and her. And I'm so excited to go home and customize this, bro. She's gonna love it. All right, guys, so we're back home from the store. I actually just got a text from Jasmine. She told me her school day is almost done and she's gonna head over here as soon as she's finished. So I need to start working on this heart. Look at all the Polaroids we have over here, guys. We've taken so many Polaroid pictures. I gotta pick the best ones so that I could put them on this heart before Jasmine gets here. And you know what? I'm done wasting time. We're gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna get to work setting up Jasmine's surprise and I'll pick this video back up so you guys can see the finished product. All right, guys, so I got the personalized heart finished. Get a closer look at this, bro. Look at all these pictures. I love the way this heart came out. I feel like it's a perfect gift for somebody who loves sentimental stuff. I feel like it has a lot of meaning for me and my girlfriend. If you take a close look over here at the bottom, there was room for another Polaroid, but I actually ended up putting a flower over here. And this is not just any regular flower. This flower came from the first time Jasmine surprised me with my own set of flowers. That way we have something physical to all always remember the first time my girlfriend got me flowers so I think this heart came out better than I even expected and she's gonna love this bro over here we got the flowers Starbucks gift card we got the little congratulations card she actually just texted me that her school day was done and she's on the way over to my house now guys look I know a lot of boyfriends on this earth they got a nice surprise for their girlfriend the second they see their girl here you go babe I got you a surprise I got you a gift and they would give her the gift hug kiss cool have a great day but me Come on guys, I'm a YouTuber. My brother's a YouTuber, my mom and dad are YouTubers. It is literally in our blood to entertain the supporters. What would be so entertaining with Jasmine walking through those doors and me being like, hey babe, I got you a gift, enjoy. Come on, bro. It's my job to give you guys something entertaining to watch. So is Jasmine gonna get these gifts today? Yeah, she is, but not before I mess with her for a little bit. When Jasmine walks in through those doors, I'm going to completely ignore my girlfriend. I'm not gonna pay her any attention. I'm not gonna show her any love. I'm not gonna give her these gifts. I'm just gonna completely ignore her. And if you guys know Jasmine, she always preaches communication. Babe, let's talk about our day. She actually loves sitting right here on the couch, just sitting and talking about each other's day. Oh, and I'm sure today she's gonna have a lot to talk about. Like I said, she just started school. It's only her second day. So I'm sure she has a lot to tell me about her teacher, her classmates, her homework. Yeah, I think Jasmine is gonna get pretty pissed off when I'm not giving her any attention and I'm just straight up ignoring her. And we're gonna see how much we could ignore her before she gets fed up. And once she finally gets fed up with me, that's when we'll pull out the gifts and we'll give her this amazing surprise. So babe, I love you and I can't wait to see you because you're almost here. So let's do this guys. Yo guys, so I just got the text. Jasmine is outside. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so, so, so nervous, bro. She might be small. She might be fun size, but that girl is spicy. When she gets crazy, she gets crazy. It's scary making a Latina mad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Pray for me guys. Let's go bring Jasmine in and see how long we could ignore her before she completely flips out. Okay, anyways, let's see what I 
can show you today. Today was my second day of school. Wait, I have a paper that I was asking a teacher, like why your teeth are sensitive, because I know your teeth why? are sensitive. My teeth? Yeah. I mean, like, why are you going to school talking about me? Aren't you there to learn? Yeah, I know. And that's what I'm, I'm learning about your teeth, because I want to help you. Because you always complain how your teeth are sensitive. And I wrote it down on, on one of my papers. I wrote, like, why? Something about your first enamel, like the shiny coat of your teeth, they're like weak or something, and that could just be like from your genetics. Sitting and listening, don't you? You're want not me? sitting and listening. Okay, I'm standing and listening. Okay, then come here and sit. I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. Isn't every girl's dream a man that listens to all their problems? You're not listening. Yes, I am. I sat there. I didn't say a single word. I let you talk. You talk okay, about then come back and communication. Sit. You always say you want to communicate. I'm letting you communicate, and now I'm in the wrong by letting my girlfriend talk. No, not So, how was your day? What'd you do? Just, you know. Just, you know what? I wanna go play basketball. Okay, let's go. My day was good. What did you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? You These stop. are connected you to your phone, actually. I'm gonna play some music. Why are you playing music? Hello? Bad money. What are you doing? Why are you. Why are you... What are you doing? What? Stop. Hey. hey, what? Hey, what are you. Hey, hey. What did you say? I can't hear you. You're not gonna listen to music. I'm sitting here talking to you. Okay, talk, but I can also listen to music. Why are you gonna put headphones in? I'm, I'm sitting right here. So I'm not allowed to listen okay. to Bad Bunny so and listen to, listen to you talk? To listen to music, you ripped the earphones out. Why are you trying to listen to music? Um, you Why are you trying to listen to music? I love Bad Bunny. I love I'm Bad Bunny. I can't listen to a Bad Bunny song. I have to give all what, my so attention to you. You care more about listening to Bad Bunny than listening to your girlfriend today? No, I trust you. You, you went you to school. You're what? a smart girl. Like I know I'm you did good. I'm trying to explain things to you though. Like you're supposed to care. Not to mention, I'm trying to take a nap and sleep, and you just pull my hand and hold it. Like isn't that kind of like? Violating my space, like I'm trying to sleep and you're just pulling me away. Come. Babe, I can't do this anymore. I literally can't do this anymore. I feel so bad. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Come here, come here. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. Babe, hold on. I feel so bad. I've never felt more <laughs> douchey than I did in these last five minutes. I'm sorry. I can't keep it going any longer. There's a camera somewhere over there. I'll go grab it, but it's not real. I prom you know me. You know me. I'm never that mean. Mm. <laughs> babe, babe, you know I'm not like that. I swear. I, I feel bad for even keeping it going that long. It hurt me on the inside to be mean to you. Yeah, hit me. I want to be hit. I deserve it. Slap me hard. But when I'm sitting here looking you in the face, how cute you are, how You're innocent you are, so mean. how sweet you are, it was so hard for me to keep that prank going. I apologize. I'm so it hurt me seeing you sad. It hurt me not listening to your problems and not listening to your day. So like, I'm gonna cut the camera. You're gonna tell me all about your day and I'm all ears. I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna listen to you. No bad buddy, no no phone, no nothing. Babe, I'm sorry. Ah, I didn't know it would be that hard to prank you. No, hey. No, you wanna, you wanna, no. Go away. I'm gonna, don't even look at me, don't talk to me, don't kiss me, don't hug me, don't talk, don't even say a word to me. I love you. 
Hey. Did you hear something? Yeah, I said I love you. What time is it? What time is it? I love. Oh, time to hit the gym. No, no, no. I was joking. We're not really going to the gym. I have dinner plans for us whoa, tonight. Whoa, whoa, Who invited you? I'm going. <laughs> Do not put your headphones in. That's disrespectful. I'm talking to you. Bam. <laughs> I'm talking to you. That's disrespectful. Hey, hey, don't not play. No, you're not playing any music. Babe, no, stop. Stop. Hey. Bad Bunny? Oh, no, it's on Megan the Stallion. Okay, baby, accept my apology. I'm sorry. I swear. Mm, no. Your answer is no. You don't accept my apology, right? No. What if I told you I put together a little surprise for you? Okay. But I'll only give it to you if you accept my apology. Now, do you accept it? Yeah, I'll accept it. Okay, give me one second. Um, I want you to wait. And I swear I'm sorry. I didn't. It was part of the prank for me to be mean, but it hurt me to do it. I didn't want to do it. No, I did not want to do. I felt like a douchebag, and I, that's why I wanted to end the prank so fast. Do you still love me, or do I need to bring the gift? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bring the gift. <laughs> I still love you though. Okay. Okay. Stay here. Or, wait, or, can I fix my hair? Okay. You. Okay. You go. Go in the bathroom, and I'll tell you when to come out. Okay. Okay. Okay, babe. One second. Okay, guys. So. I hid the gifts over here. I don't know why I put it in the liquor room, but here's the flowers, the gift cards, the letter, and the heart. So, let me put those real quick. Wait, babe, do not come out of the bathroom yet. Hey, bro, these flowers are heavier than you think. Hey, guys, so I got the flowers over here. Okay, babe, step one of your surprise is outside the door, so I want you to come out. This is step one. Do you know why I got you these flowers? Because you're being mean to me. No, no, no. Oh, well, I want you to take them first. <gasps> oh my god, I love flowers. Smell them? They smell even better than they look. Mm -hmm. They smell good. Mm -hmm. They smell good. This is beautiful. Oh but god. I got it for you as a... This is like an I'm proud of you gift for starting school. So okay. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I love you. and um, I love you. I love you more. You're welcome. Wait, but I have more though. I have more. But I that's... just want to tell you I love you and thank you. Tell me again. I love you and thank you for everything because you're just perfect. Babe, thank and you. You make me happy. You make me happy. You're perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect, but I try my best to be as good as I could for you. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay, stay right here. Stay right here. Okay. 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 Wait. Guys, it's so hard filming this myself, but I'm doing my best. Okay. I'll bring that last. I have these for you. First is a Starbucks gift card Wait, because every time I try to talk to you in the morning, tell you good morning, give you a good morning kiss, <laughs> what do you say? Don't talk to me until I have coffee. <laughs> okay, so this is for Aww. your coffee. This one, it's like a good luck for starting your school. I wrote my own letter in there because I know you're more into sentimental. Wait, should I read it? Nah, you don't, you don't need to read it on camera. It's more personal for me and you. Uh, but I know that, you know, you care more about sentimental gifts, more meaningful. Don't read it now. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Already? You only read like one sentence. Nah, but I didn't want to get you a card that was pre-made and pre-written because I knew this would mean more to you. So I wrote you your own. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then I have one last thing that I know you're gonna love. Okay, so stay right there. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, babe, for this one, I want you to close your eyes. Okay, are they closed? No, don't be scared. Are they closed? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Do not open. Do not open. Do not open. Stick your hand out. Grab. Ah, Stick your hand out. What grab what's that? in front. And open. Wait. <gasps> oh. This is perfect. This is beautiful. Oh my god. So I picked 12 of my favorite Polaroids of us. And do you know where that flower is from? The flowers I got you? Yes. So we'll always remember the first time I ever got flowers that... in my life was from you. This is so cute. Oh this is god. all part of my I'm proud of you gift for going to school. This and you so know, cute. doing big girl things. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Like Which one's your favorite Polaroid? I like... Well, I like... They're all my favorites. I like this one and I like this one and this one and this one. And this one. Okay. Honestly, I, like, I like all of them. Because they like, all are good memories, good times. Well, Aww, babe. Oh, this is so cute. I like 
like it. I love you. What made you want to do this? Because I was just thinking about... Well, this is a little personal, but I'm going to say it and you tell me if you want me to leave it in the video. Okay. Um, you came to my house the other day. You were a little bit stressed out. Mm -hmm. um, you were telling me you didn't know if you were making all the right decisions in your life. Yeah. And you said sometimes you feel like you have a lot of pressure on you and you don't know if you're doing the right thing. Yeah. So I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you for starting school, you know, choosing a career path. Yeah. And I just want to let you know that you are making the right decisions. You have nothing to be stressed about. Everything you're doing is right. And yeah, you're doing an amazing job at everything you're doing in your life. So I don't want to see you stressed out about that. What did I tell you? I said life is not easy and every decision you're going to have to make, it is stressful. But you're doing a good job and I'm proud of you. I love you. I love you too. Out of all the choices I've made in my life, you're the best one. I'm the best one. <laughs> you're the best one. Love you, babe. Guys, Jasmine's sister just pulled up and Jasmine said her sister's gonna freak out when she sees this. Look what he got for me. Look, flowers, a card, a Starbucks Wait, it's actually card. so cute. Look at the Polaroid thing. I made that myself. Oh my God, it's actually really cute. Julie is like, is the type that she would die for stuff. Like she loves like memories, oh pictures, videos. Like, Oh, and this flower is from the first bouquet of flowers I ever got for him. Oh my so God. we'll always remember the first like the time. Polaroids are like from like these are like the first times I would like stay over at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's actually really cute. Yeah. And then the flowers. I know. See, like I feel like this is like more meaningful because like this is it's so much. It's something that like you did. Like and you time. took the time. Okay, so you woke up and you were like, oh, I want to do this. I want to go to Home Goods. I want to get these pictures. I want to get them flowers. I want to write her card. I want to. Instead of just going to like Gucci and buying you something, I wanted to do this. This is more meaningful. It is, right? Yeah. Okay, babe, but you gotta do me a favor. What? You gotta get your sister a Starbucks drink with this card. Okay, well. Because she helped out with a part. <laughs> so you gotta get her a Starbucks coffee. Okay, I will. I will. All right, guys. Well, that is gonna close out today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like if you did. Babe, what do you think of all this? I'm speechless. <laughs> no, I love, I love it all. Like, this is so cute. The fact that you did this. You made this? Okay, well, I didn't make the heart. I bought the heart, but then I made the, like... No, like, and then the flowers are... These are my favorite flowers. I love flowers. Like, I just want flowers everywhere in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the Bro, house. Like, I told you guys... so pretty. Like, Jasmine, what makes her happy is not, like, designer things and, like, hella materialistic items. It's stuff like this. That's why I love her so much, because she cares about the finer things in life, you know, the, the little things in our relationship. Also, babe, you guys show some love to Jasmine in the comment section because I feel like a lot of people in her position, dating an influencer or whatever, they wouldn't take the time, they wouldn't make it a priority to go to school, to, to choose a career path and, you know, do something for yourself, make your own money, get your own career, get your own job. I feel like a lot of people in her position would be content and like would want to yeah. chill, relax and stuff like that. So you making the choice to sign up, go to school, pursue something with dentistry it just shows a lot about yourself and it, it really tells me the type of person you are and you want to go out and get stuff for yourself like you yeah. want to get after it yourself you want things for yourself that you don't have like you don't need to rely on somebody else so always go and get an education because no matter what happens no one can take your education away from you bro you're yeah i just jasmine deserves some love in the comment section because that's just a lot of people in her position this isn't something they would choose to do so babe you going to school i'm proud of you and it, it just shows me a lot about yourself so I Thanks for you. this too because I'm going to Starbucks a lot while I study so this is going to come in handy. Yeah, babe, I love you and uh, yeah, that's going to close out today's video. So. I love you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate everything. Thank everything. You. Babe, it's... All these flowers. I have one bouquet of flowers and another bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Anything you tell me, thank you for being perfect. Thank you for doing this, doing that. You do just as much for me if not more. So thank you. I love you. Love you. And we're out guys. Peace.